Yo, yo, what's going on? How's everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of Crypto Millionaire Journey. I'm your host, The Wolf of Crypto. Uh, before I even get started with this episode, of course, I gotta go ahead and say, say again, RIP to Kobe Bean Bryant, man. Uh, still mourning his loss. Still a tough one. Uh, it's, whoo. <laughs> I was thinking about doing a whole episode just dedicated to him and what he meant to me. And it's just a surreal feeling that, man, life is short. Um, you don't know when your time is going to be called. And you got to have to enjoy every moment. Um, still struggling with the fact that he's really gone. Uh, this is a dude that... I try to format his ways of how he played basketball and how he carried himself into what I did as far as basketball goes. But like I said, I'm definitely thinking about doing the whole just Kobe Kobe episode. Uh, I'm not sure if I will, but definitely something that's on my mind. As far as today goes, I uh, kind of just wanted to discuss... Uh, I guess some way of like an update of all this different crypto that I've earned in some ways that I'm going to also really focus on um, in the future as far as just how am I going to earn crypto daily? Uh, that's always something that's constantly on my mind. Uh, and there's so many ways where you can earn you know, without even making any risk, any investment, uh, the only effort that you have to put into it is your time, actually. And I'm um, trying to think, like, you know, even where to start. Because, uh, ha- like I said, I I got crypto in so many different places right now. It's not even funny. Sometimes I lose track of where all my crypto is. Um, but I would say let's go ahead and start with... Uh, I would say start with the Atomic Wallet. Um, I believe I've done an episode about Atomic Wallet. If I haven't, definitely be on the lookout for that. And this is a wallet that is a cold wallet. Um, You know, this is something that you would use to store your crypto away from exchanges. Uh, It's more of a private fault. Of course, you have to have... The key essential, which is the private keys, make sure you have that in a safe, safe place. Uh, but the fact that Mary is, you know, I do have some bad in there. Uh, I do have some stellar in there. And thinking about now that the fact that they have a staking uh, program and some of the different coins that you can stake within this app. Uh, you got Atom, Tezos, Tron, Ontology, Neo, uh, Komodo, Algo, uh, VeChain. Um, so probably going to try to get some coins into the staking problem that way, you know, it's just collecting more crypto in the background. Right now I have about, you know, only 10 bucks in there, uh, with a combination of that and Stella, but the market has been, it's been doing some things. Uh, it's got that, uh, bullish, a lot of bullish tension right now. Of course, we're. All waiting to see, you know, what what will it do? Because it did get up to what was it around ninety four hundred, close to my guy into the ninety five hundred, and everything else has gone up with it. I mean, there's some big gains, especially from some of these different altcoins. Um, but as far as another place where I'm earning crypto, uh, Stormplay. Stormplay is a survey sat slash task um, mobile platform uh or I should say mobile app platform where 
you basically do all these different surveys and you collect what they call bolts, um, which is a storm token. And not just that, it kind of the way it gets divided, it gets divided into your storm, it gets divided into Bitcoin, Ethereum, DAI, and Litecoin. Uh, right now, I'm at 22,750 bolts. Um, of course, uh, those that join and use my link as far as when it comes to storm, uh, you automatically get 6,000 bolts. Uh, so that's another way that I'm earning some crypto is by doing some simple things as far as surveys. And they have a lot of different offers within the app. So you don't just have to do surveys. Um, you can do some other things. Um, it just depends what you want. I mean, you got ways where you can download these different games, download apps, um, whatever it is that they're asking you to do, you do it. And guess what? Boom, you get some bolts. And I would say right now there's a plethora of different I mean, just, I would say over at least what, maybe, and there's some other ways where you can earn storm bolts or just bolts in general. Uh, we have all these little little partnerships within the app and we go to discover a uh, portion of it. And if you have any spare time, I mean, this is something that you could just be doing almost every day and you can build up your tokens that way. To the point where you could probably make some nice change. Uh, the fact that some of these offers do a, offer a lot of bolts. So if you're able to complete that task, you can uh, rack up the bolts and potentially, you know, see some good, I would say, returns. Maybe like maybe 20, 25 bucks. Just. And this is just all guessing because, um, like I said, there's a lot of different offers you can do where you can rack up your bolts. Um, so that's another app uh, I use to collect some daily crypto uh, another app is called ubdi and all these apps and different platforms that i'm referring to i'll you know definitely do episodes that are dedicated to each platform to kind of you know explain how they all work and really get into the insides of you know ins and outs of everything and definitely want to keep notes of some of these platforms because like i said man when it comes to not just downloading the platform but when you refer your friends or people that you know to the platform, there's always a good chance you're going to earn that way as well. Uh, so that's what I like about, you know, a lot of these apps. There's a lot of win-win situations. And it's for certain things that, you know, we're not asking much when it comes to these different crypto platforms. I mean, you don't have to really do much. I mean, it's just, like I said, the two I just mentioned, which is UBDI and Storm, all it is is you have to put your time into it. You put your time into it, then you can earn. It's very simple. UBDI is very same thing, very similar to Storm. Uh, you, <laughs> you do tasks, you do these different surveys uh, where you connect all these different channels that you have. And they use your data and you make money, you monetize your data and you be, you're able to make money from these surveys. Um, they're also growing as a community as well and they're growing pretty fast. So I'm Really excited to see what they have planned for the future. Uh, as far as another app goes, um, this one is, I mean, very simple. And uh, you can literally earn this every day because uh, I'm pretty sure you walk every day. You do something every day. You're doing some type of activity. And this app is called Beat. Um, I've done some episodes on Beat, I'm pretty sure. No, I've done another app. That you use uh, that's actually been been pretty good to me, considering that I've earned a lot of tokens from it just by walking. It's called Beat. Um, very simple, very easy concept. I mean, it's an exercise app, uh, basically built to get you active, get you going, but at the same time, you do get some type of uh, form of income from it. Um, you get these tokens, obviously beats are not really worth a lot right now, but in the long run, in the later half, you know, two or three years, the beat could be worth something it really could. And if you look at from it, from the perspective of 
you walk every day, you're pretty active. Um, you know, some people, you know, try to hit their steps, whatever, you know, goal they might be setting. Now, when you set that goal, you're going to be earning some tokens. And so for me, I have a I watch. I mean, obviously, it does count your steps when you have your phone. But if you have one of those health data um, monitors, whether it be a Fitbit, Garmin, Apple iWatch, uh, an S3, whatever you're using, it tracks same thing like that on the on the smart on the smart watch. And it's pretty cool, man, because I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me talk about Sweatcoin. Um, I've done a beat episode. And same thing goes for Sweatcoin. Unfortunately, the only thing I like about Sweatcoin is, for some reason, with the Apple Watch, it doesn't uh, doesn't collect your steps compared to when you're having your phone on you with all the time. Uh, but even with Sweatcoin, um, I've earned, I mean, I would say a significant amount of steps. Uh, right now, my balance is at thousand fifty one and ninety one cents. And I haven't used any of my sweat coins, been just kind of, like I said, just racking them up by using, just collecting steps. Um, but they do have some different offers that I actually kind of missed out on. Uh, I was a little disappointed about that because uh, I wanted to get this new wallet. But like I said, when it comes to certain things that are within the app, you got to get them like <laughs> quickly because they will go out very fast. Um, I feel like there's a lot of... A lot of users using this app, um, just for the fact that I see all these different offers that are, you know, constantly changing, and you know when they do come out, sometimes they are sold out pretty quickly. Um, but I'm glad to see that they're trying to have some more, you know, offers, features within the app. Again, with this, you do have to have your phone on you. You do have to have it in the background. Um, so if it's, you know. Not in the background, your steps are not, they're still getting counted, but they're not getting counted at a more accurate weight where you're going to be earning a little bit more. So that's something just to keep in mind, because with beat, you don't have to have it uh, in the background, which is very cool. Um, so another app that I use, uh, and I'm going to definitely be using it more consistently. Uh, so it's Particle, which is part of steam and steam's a platform um just in general that i want to use a lot more uh just for the fact that you can get some passive income um again right now steam's pretty cheap last time i checked it was like i think 16 cents but with this i mean when it comes to blogging and just different dApps that are within the app from steam it um a lot of different ways you can earn some steam and like I said you can earn steam daily uh, and it just depends on how much steam because that's really the influence that's how you have more power if you power up the more steam you have more influence you have over the overall platform and I also believe that's also another way where you can earn more steam in a more quicker way so again that's another platform where if you put some money into it and you're consistent I think it's going to really help in the long run like I said uh, there's some of these right now that are pretty low in price um, but if you put your time into them and you're consistent with them uh, I'm pretty sure that I would even say like in the next four to five months you can see some nice gains some nice ROIs and again if you have time Put it into some of these platforms, man, because it doesn't hurt to just earn some crypto daily in the background where you don't have to necessarily put any risk. It's all time. Another platform, Brave. You guys heard me talk about Brave, the browser. And that's something that I get paid monthly every every time on the 5th. Uh, and it's pretty cool because now with the mobile version... Uh, you're able to make some on there on top of the fact that when you use your computer, you're able to make it on the computer as well. So with that being said, you're double dipping. So you're double dipping, getting paid on the fifth every month for using the mobile version 
in the desktop version. And obviously, this is a no-brainer just for the fact that if you're surfing the web and you're not using the Brave browser, it's like, what are you doing? And the reason why I say that is because it's not like if you're using Google, Safari, Firefox, whatever browser that you might be using, you got to ask yourself this question right now. Are you making money from them? Are they sending you any type of form of payment? Are they sending you any type of incentives? If not, I'm telling you, you got to check out Brave. And Brave is something I've talked about a couple times. And the fact that they added the mobile version, again, double dipping. Uh, so that's another app. Um, and then, oh, yes, Apex. This is one that I really need to get back on. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because they've been adding a lot of features. A lot of features. It's almost to a point where it it has the feel of Instagram. Um, and this is something that we do every day is when it comes to uh, Instagram, too, because they're constantly getting on Instagram, doing this, posting, yada, 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 liking. But are you making any money from it? Maybe you are. Uh, for those of you that might have a big following, for those of you that don't, Apex is a good introductory app to basically like social media and just taking photos and doing everything that you would normally do on IG. So that's another app. Foresting is another app. Uh, I've actually made some berries and collected some berries just by doing the same thing you would do on Apex because Foresting is very similar. In that way, and there's a couple of social media crypto platforms that I like. That again, if you put more time into them, you'll see some good returns. Uh, another app I would say that I use is crypto.com. I know you guys have heard me talk about that plenty of times, I love it. Um, the MCO program, I love everything about what they're doing with that platform. Um, they have a crypto earn program where you can earn crypto for locking up your money, uh, whether it be a one month term, two month term, three month term, flexible term, and you get to earn each cryptocurrency in that form, wherever it be, let's say you uh, did a three month term of EOS, you will be collecting EOS interest and you get that with every seven days. Every seven days, you're getting EOS. It's dropping right into your wallet, available for you to top up to your card. So that's another platform where I do earn something. Uh, but obviously, I had to put some money into that. Another app that you can use, Metal Pay. Uh, best way I describe it as is the crypto version of Venmo cash app uh, you send and receive money but of course every time you send and receive money within that app you do uh, make some money you make money off of microtransactions in the form of mail rewards um, and obviously with their referral program as one more people you bring to their platform uh, you get six dollars and they get six dollars and that that uh, program's still going on uh, I thought it would actually end and I, I didn't think that the amount would continue to drop because it did uh, drop to six dollars and it, at one point it was at I believe like 20 bucks so uh, that's another app if you check out and I would try to Use that if you're going to send crypto, especially to family and friends. Um, just for the fact that you do get some rewards for sending crypto using the app. So if you do send crypto, you, and it doesn't, I mean, you could be any amounts of crypto. So like I said, it's like Venmo, it's like Cash App. And I'm pretty sure most people have Venmo and Cash App, but again, when you're sending money from those apps, are you getting any money back? Nope, you are not. So why not use an app that's very similar to those and actually earn something back from using it? Uh, what is that? How many apps did we just go through? That's those are like about what six apps I just went through, and I'm not even what not even close to being done. I think uh, again. 
There's just so many different ways to earn crypto within the space, man. Um, another app that you guys heard talk about is the Electronium Cloud Mining app. Very easy to use, and you don't really gotta do anything. Um, it does everything for you. You just gotta come in, make sure you extend the duration of your money, and as soon as you get to 100, goes right into your wallet. Uh, I've been earning about 100 to 200 ETN, I would say monthly. Uh, it's been a little bit more difficult. I noticed when, after the couple updates that they've done. Uh, so for usually the month of January, I've only earned 100 ETN. But before that, like I said, I was earning about 200 ETN, I would say, on a monthly basis. Uh, but again, still got a referral program that where if you're sharing with your friends, bringing people to the platform, um, they get a 1% bonus and then you obviously collect whatever they mine as well. So that's like a multi-level type of uh, referral program. Uh, and again, you don't got to do anything except make sure that you go in and extend your sessions. Very simple, very easy to use. Another app uh, I'm thinking about using, I'm still trying to get, I guess, a grasp on how it really works. It's called Rally. Um, it's a social sharing crypto platform and the whole ecosystem behind it is if you let's say i share a video you like that video um you watch the video where it could be you earn these rally points and there's different like rise subscriptions and you earn for sharing links and stuff like that so Definitely got to do some more digging and research on that platform, but that's another platform I see that you can use and, you know, potentially earn some crypto in that way. Uh, another app that I haven't really used quite yet, um, still got to do some more research, uh, but I definitely did see it. I came across it, I believe, using the Brave browser. Um, it's called Minds. Uh, trying to think what's the best way to kind of describe the platform because it is like a, a social media channel crypto forum platform i know that was a lot to say um again haven't used it yet but i did hear that you have some pretty cool opportunities to make some money just by again using the platform sharing liking uh being very active within the community so again, it's called Minds. Definitely be on the lookout for an episode of that. Um, and all these apps that I just talked about, they're all available to download uh, within the App Store or Google Play Store, depending on what kind of phone you have. Unfortunately, um, the Pi Pi app uh, it's not actually available on iOS no more. I think it's only on Google Play, um, and that's an, another app where you can earn Mithril and you can stake Mithril um, and basically everything you do within that app as well, you earn. And since I don't even have the app, I was also thinking about uh, just staking Mithril just in general because um, that's also another way where you stake Mithril and within that app, your level goes up. But unfortunately, like I said, with iOS right now, they don't have the app. I'm hoping they bring it back. Uh, but other than that, I'm trying to think, is there any other apps on my phone that I can mention to you guys where I'm earning? So I think those are all the, I would say, main apps uh, I use on my phone to, to earn some crypto. Um, and I also did find some use for stable coins now. So that's another route I'm taking of leveraging stable coins to basically earn some interest because there's some different platforms like Nexo, Crypto.com, which is the MCO app. And what's the other one? It's on the tip of my tongue. I hate this. But, oh, it's Voyager. Yes, it's Voyager. So Voyager... 
and there's another one. Ooh, wow. Just stop by it. Forgive me, folks. Uh, she she becomes my if it comes to my head. I definitely will bring it up, mention to you. But stable coins, man. There's some use in these things, and at first I wasn't a big fan, um, just for the fact I don't think I really fully understood what was the use case for stable coins. But now I really see stable coins as like the general currency. Like you know, I look at them as like having like a U.S. dollar, a pound, yen, all these different currencies that we have right now. But stable coins. Especially like Dai, uh, True USD, USDC. Um, I haven't really touched the Gemini coin yet. Uh, Tether is something I use for my other platform. And speaking of platforms, there it is. I just I just remembered. It's called Bit Offer. Um, that's another app, but of course this one is a more of an exchange. Um, but at the same time, they have a ETF on there that makes it easy for you to make like daily profit, daily gains by just shorting and longing the price of Bitcoin. And that's something if you know if you're constantly watching the market, it's going to be pretty easy for you to, you know, make some profit. And at the same time, there's no liquidation, so uh, that's an app. So that's the, I think that's going to be the last app I believe I use on my phone as far as another way to earn some crypto. Um, if I'm leaving you know, other apps out, um, I definitely will, you know, mention that on my whole next update. Because like I said, I got crypto man in a lot of different places. Um, DTube is another platform where definitely want to check out. Definitely going to be another way to earn some crypto because, again, it's very similar to YouTube. Like, there's a lot of platforms that are similar to the traditional platforms that you're accustomed to, which are the YouTubes, Twitters, Facebook, Instagrams. Uh, I would say those are the main ones because there's no, I mean, I haven't seen an app that's quite like TikTok or anything like that, especially in the crypto f form. Uh, but again, a lot of these platforms, very accessible, very easy to use. But as far as like Steam goes, I know a lot of people feel that that platform is very confusing. Um, I guess my personal use case, uh, I haven't really found it to be really too confusing. Because um, it's, it's so similar to some of the platforms you use today. Like it's got like a Tumblr feel. It's got a Twitter feel. Because, you know, you know, with Tumblr, it's like your whole blog. Um, the fact that it's linked to... You know the version, the crypto version of YouTube. It has a couple of different DApps. Um, again, maybe making the account might be a little confusing, but even still, to create an Estima account it just costs you like maybe like two bucks or something like that. If that, I forget how much it costs, but I mean, it doesn't cost too much to get a Steam account and start using that bad boy to earn some money. I mean, again, everything I've talked about, everything I've touched on. All these different platforms, all these different apps, you can earn money. You can make money from day one. Day one, as soon as you sign up, boom, you are making money. Um, as far as, oh, there's another app. I just thought about it. The other app that I'm going to start using uh, <laughs> is called Ember. And uh, the best way I could describe that is basically like a Bitcoin, not just not just a Bitcoin, but it's more of an ETF, uh, mutual fund kind of feel as far as how you invest within that app. And the minimum to start investing on that app is 100 bucks. But you can either choose your portfolio or you can subscribe to some of the different portfolios that are available within the app. Um, and it kind of just, you know, it varies. But that's also something that obviously that requires you to risk some money. Um, but to that, that's pretty cool, man. Um, the fact that that's the closest thing to ETF, again, besides BitOffer, which I mentioned earlier. 
uh, very safe just for the fact that, you know, instead of just buying one crypto, you can spread your crypto out, spread your money out. You always want to diversify your portfolio. You never want to be stuck with one coin. Um, that's just, you know, something I do. That's something I practice. Uh, but that's another app that I'm definitely going to focus on using more. And Uphold as well. Uphold is another app that actually just added some pretty cool features. Um, that's another app where you can actually trade and, you know, zero commission fees. Uh, there's zero fees to buy crypto and zero fees to, I believe, withdraw it as well. So that's something else I look for as well is, you know, what platforms can I find where the fees are very low? Because I don't really like paying too much fees on some of the crypto that I do or if I'm sending it, buying it, where the case it be, however I'm using it, I don't really like to pay for fees. That's just something I personally don't like. Because um, less fees, more money that goes back into your pocket. Uh, more That's more gains that you can enjoy. Uh, but as far as, I think those are, those are the main ones. I think I, have, I, think I, have, I, think I hit all the main ones. Um, there's no other apps or platforms right now that are coming to mind, but I did give you a heavy dosage of, you know, how I'm earning crypto and all the different platforms that I'm using to just kind of, you know, just collect this crypto in the background, man. And then as we have these, you know, little runs or big runs, for the case it be, you're going to look back and be like, wow, I'm glad I did it at this time because, man, and there's always that question like, okay. If I'm earning it right now, what could it be in a month or two? Six months, a year from now, two years from now. Because, you know, we're going to we're gonna continue to hit these bottoms. But these bottoms that we hit, as far as, like, I'm saying, like, the whole market, sometimes we're not going to see the bomb that we saw last time. Sometimes it might not get... Low, it might not, Bitcoin might not go back to three thousand, four thousand. I know a lot of people are hoping it. It does, cause so they can just you know stack up, get as much as they can. Same thing goes with Ethereum, Litecoin, all the big top dogs, Neo. I mean, the list goes on. But if you're earning a particular crypto right now, and like I said, it might not seem like much. I mean, our Brave browser right now, I think I've made like forty bucks off that. 40 bucks, but again, at the current price of BAT. Let's just say BAT hits a dollar. I got about, because right now I have over, what? I think I have like almost 200 BAT. So that'd be 200 bucks right there from just browsing the internet. So those are just some things to, you know, look at, do some research, do your due diligence. That's why I always tell people, Make sure you always do your due diligence and research. Um, never use something that you don't even know what you're doing. Because, um, you know, that's, again, that's, somehow, that's how some people ha get a bad taste in their mouth. Um, research, research, research. You put in time for research, put in time to use a platform, I'm telling y'all, it's going to be very rewarding. Uh, but, again, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the content. Again, RIP to my guy, Kobe Bean Bryant. Sad to see him go. Sad to see him go in that way. Um, but be on the lookout for more episodes. And again, my podcast can be found on, obviously, Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, CastBox, Overcast, Pocket Cast, and Radio Public. So I am on a couple platforms. Check it. Check me out. Um, subscribe as far as episodes go in the future definitely going to try to get on a more of a weekly base basis uh, I'm thinking about maybe three times a week be dropping some different episodes because like, again yeah, there's so many different platforms um, there's a lot to talk about there's a lot to gain there's a lot to earn so again definitely be on the lookout for more episodes on a weekly basis but until the next episode it's your boy, The Wolf of Crypto. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And uh, until next time, y'all, take care.